Another shot has been fired in the Great Loot Box War, and this is actually something I would put in the win column for players. We've seen growing calls for regulation over paid loot boxes in video games ever since, uh, really, Battlefront 2 and Shadow of War, I still stand uh, by my claims that those are really the games that push things a bit too far too quickly and got so much attention drawn to loot boxes. And today, the ESA, the Entertainment Software Association, has announced that each of the big three, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, will soon require all games released on their platforms that have loot boxes disclose the odds of those loot boxes. In this article posted on The Verge, it says, These include Activision, Blizzard, Bandai Namco, Bethesda, Bungie, EA, Take-Two Interactive, Ubisoft, Warner Brothers, Wizards of the Coasts, and of course other publishers, those odds will need to be included for a game to be published on the Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch consoles. Other platforms like PC are not included in this commitment, which I'd assume this still affects PC players as the drop rates are probably consistent, at least I would hope, right, that uh, loot box drop rates the, that these publishers, they keep them uh, consistent between all the platforms. So if it's like a multi-platform game, you'd be able to look up the rates on other platforms and hopefully that would be the same as it is on PC. A spokesperson from the ESA said regarding this announcement, the video game industry relies on creating and sustaining relationships with our players based on fun, but just as importantly, on trust. Yeah, sure. One of the hallmarks of our industry is that we don't just create entertainment value for our players, we listen to them. Yes, you listen to them after they bitch loudly and often, and they've since gotten official statements from all of the big three as well. Uh, we believe in transparency with customers and providing them information for making their purchase decisions, a Microsoft spokesperson told The Verge. That is why by 2020, all new apps or games offering loot boxes or other mechanisms on Microsoft platforms that provide randomized virtual items for purchase must disclose to the customer prior to the purchase the odds of receiving each item. A Sony spokesperson verified the comment telling The Verge, we support the industry efforts to disclose the probability of obtaining randomized virtual items known as loot boxes and are committed to providing consumers with this information for all games we produce and publish. And finally, Nintendo said, ensuring that our customers can make informed choices when they play our games is very important. As part of our ongoing efforts in this area, Nintendo will require disclosure of drop rates in Nintendo Switch games that offer randomized virtual items for purchase, such as loot boxes. Now, of course, everyone who comes into this is going to say, oh, we love being transparent. We accept this with open arms. But do not forget, the reason this is happening is because of the outspoken players. Those who tirelessly hammer on this shit continue to force their hands into doing something about it. So why is this a big deal, forcing these companies to disclose the odds? Well, for one, like I stated at the opening, this is a united front of the big three. Uh, there really is nowhere to run and hide at this point. Not releasing your game on any of these platforms would cause developers to miss out on probably the majority of the money they could make. And disclosing the odds helps the consumer on a variety of levels. Uh, different drops will certainly have different rarity. So if you want to roll the dice on some loot boxes, you'll be able to know what you're getting into, obviously. Like, oh, I want something that's a, a legendary drop, and legendary drops in this game are only like 3% of the time, so do I really want to gamble on it? Is it worth taking the risk? But it goes further than that. Similar to when EA was forced to disclose the odds of the FIFA loot boxes, these companies are going to be dragged when players find out just how rigged the systems are. So either they're going to have to make the odds more fair, or deal with the backlash when they try to make things nearly impossible to get because players are going to know. These things can also be tested better by players. Like if something has a 20% drop rate, let's say, you may not for sure get it 1 in 5 times, but if you don't get it like 1 in 10 times, something may be screwy and people have actual data, again, that they can refer to when they call this shit out. And with the players being armed with this new knowledge, Perhaps some will back off of loot boxes entirely, feeling like requiring everything to be out in the open like this 
won't help them in the long run and maybe they should think of another business strategy. I, I will say, I find it very interesting, right before this news broke, just yesterday, Rocket League, one of the bigger games out there, announced that they were moving away from the loot box game entirely and going forward, they will offer more of a digital store for cosmetics where players will be able to see the specific thing they are buying before making the purchase. I'm not saying it was for sure done because they knew what was coming, but uh, the timing is certainly curious. Overall, I think, as I've said in the past, these systems have gotten so far out of hand, and I'm glad to see we're finally seeing some, some pushback. Like I said back when the story about the Belgium Gambling Commission banning loot boxes in the region broke, look for things to get worse for these companies now that there is mainstream attention on loot boxes. You know, we also had that, uh, what was it, the, like, protect children from loot boxes bill proposed in Congress that I recently also covered. And while things like this aren't the complete removal of paid loot boxes like so many would want, I totally get that perspective like, oh, it's either all or nothing, I want loot boxes just gone entirely, I think that's what most of us want, but things like this are still small victories. The walls, I would say, certainly seem to be starting to close in on these underhanded money-making schemes. And I've said I get it with many games, a lot of the times I don't buy into the, oh, they just need to do this to make money deal, certainly not in full-price AAA games, but in like a free-to-play game, obviously, yeah, you need to do something to monetize the game. Uh, if you have a game-as-a-service type model where you're continually updating the same game for years and years, adding new content, you have to make money off of it somehow, but you do not have to do this. Like we're about to see with Rocket League, you can just sell people the stuff outright without having them gamble on loot boxes. Yeah, you won't get as many kids racking up thousands of dollars on their parents' credit cards, but I think you'd still make a fair bit of profit. And if you are going the loot box route, I think this is completely fair. Like, is anyone seriously going to argue against forcing these companies to disclose actual odds? I mean, I know there are some loot box shills out there, but there can't be any who are this dumb, right? I hope not. Especially doing so with this united front, you know, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo all in accord, that basically makes it a requirement for all games that aren't exclusive to PC. So it's not something they're going to be able to avoid. Uh, basically, just don't screw over your player base, and you'll be fine. Easier said than done for most of these companies, though, that's for sure. Anyway, with that, this video's a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on these new developments in the loot box war in the comments. How effective do you think this coalition of the big three requiring loot box regulation will be in deterring poor practices from game creators? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this discussion on Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony requiring games with loot boxes to disclose their odds. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to keep the conversation going, hit me up on Twitter, at Johnny Zakari, and join my Discord, Shy Guy and Friends. Link to both in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.